What up, fam? Big Ken Talks here, and Dog is listed as a comedy film directed by Reed Carolyn and Channing Tatum, who also stars in the film along with Jane Addams, Kevin Nash, Bill Burr, and Ethan Suppley. And I say listed as a comedy because though the movie does have some decent laugh out loud moments, at the bare minimum, audible soft chuckles, this film is not surprisingly a little emotional. You have a US Army Ranger played by Channing Tatum who's wanting to get back into the field, but in order to show that he's ready and capable to perform his duties, he's tasked with bringing a military working dog to her handler's funeral, which essentially becomes a cross country trip for these two unlikely friends. Now with both getting to know and learn to trust one another, Briggs, Channing Tatum's character in Lulu, the military working dog, they both have their own stories and their own traumas that they have to collectively try to overcome. And so for any time you're mixing in military and trauma, and for the film to be listed as a comedy, I just think it might be a little misleading for some of you guys out there. And I'm not saying the movie isn't funny. The movie is funny, or at least has a handful of funny moments. But again, it's also pretty emotional, especially if you read in between the lines, which is what I think the trailer kind of alludes to. So that tone in the trailer you witness, that is the tone that you pretty much get throughout the whole movie. I would argue the better classification of dog would be more of a drama slash comedy. And lack of a better example off the top of my head, something along the lines of like what Marley and Me was. Now originally supposed to be released back in February of last year, Dog is an original film not based on a true story. However, the film was heavily influenced by Tatum's relationship with his own late dog, whose name was also in fact, Lulu. First off, let me just say that Dog is visually appealing. You will most certainly notice the intentional broad cinematic approach that was used for this film. I have to say that I actually think that as they were filming, they had on their mind to make this movie as photogenic as possible in the work shows with some absolutely breathtaking shots. And look, cinematography aside, I'm not typically the one to praise the acting prowess of Channing Tatum, but in this film, you're gonna be pretty impressed with his performance. I don't know if it's because he was channeling the energy from his memories from his late Lulu, but you're absolutely gonna feel every moment he has with his K9 co-star. And I also just think you're gonna see how Tatum shows this growth and development with Briggs as a character. And check it, listen, no, I am not saying he's going to win any Best Actor awards, but you can't and won't be able to deny a job well done. Give credit where it's due. Now for some truth, I'm also a sucker for dog movies. Because look, for the most part, it's always the furry co-star that does most of the heavy lifting. And if I'm being honest, I don't know if I could tell you if I've ever seen bad acting from a dog. Because let's be real, when it comes to dog movies, you're watching it for the dog. And just like in this one, you're watching it for Lulu. Well, I imagine some of y'all are watching it for Magic Mike, but most of us are watching it for Lulu. And Lulu, or the Lulus, I don't know if they use multiple dogs, is great. And of course she would be. She's a dog, dogs are amazing, Tatum just had to be there. To be this as a comedy, just like we talked about early on, I think you guys will find Dog feels way too much like a drama way more so than a comedy. And that normally wouldn't be a problem or issue, but in the case of this film, it becomes an issue because the majority of the comedic relief is already seen in the trailer. So when you see the same scene in the movie from the trailer, you're not laughing because you already saw it. There's no surprise for it, you know it's coming. And there's really nothing outside of those scenes to really keep the belly full of laughs going. Dog is also around 90 minutes in length and unfortunately runs into the problem of not having enough material to keep it engaging. And I'm not saying you won't be engaged throughout the movie. We do have Lulu, so maybe I misspoke. But you do kind of get into these moments where you're just like, why are we here? What's going on? What's the point of this? And I think because of that, I think the movie can leave you wanting for more, especially being an original story. I think they could have shortened certain scenes or moments in the movie and then added a few additional, which overall I think would have helped the actual pacing of the film. Because as of right now, you guys are probably going to feel the pacing slow down tremendously in some areas, and that may or may not sidetrack you from the movie. Listen, if you like dog movies or movies with a dog co-star, then this movie fits right up your alley. Absolutely, 100%. And for those who do end up watching the movie, Dog is probably going to end up being an instant favorite among you all. Take that in with Lulu, who we would all want to take home, and how Channing Tatum actually takes this role 
quite seriously, we actually do have a very heartfelt and enjoyable and emotional movie. The landscapes you come across with our two buddies as we traverse the country are bound to have you at least bare minimum amazed at how they were shot. I think when it wants to, the cinematography of this movie absolutely captures the essence of Dog. And I wouldn't necessarily consider the film Dog to be a comedy, but more so of a drama. Call it a dramedy, if you will. I do imagine a lot of you guys are going to feel quite emotional, so you may or may not want to have a tissue box in hand. And please let me clarify that isn't me spoiling anything. Don't use prior dog movies, and you know which one I'm talking about, to kind of figure out or to think of what's going to happen at the end of this movie. Two completely different movies. It's just that with movies with animal companions, they tend to lean more on the tear jerker side than not. So don't already get yourself into an emotional fit before you watch this film. Again, I'm not spoiling, I'm just saying, the movie is emotional. It does have a very emotional, heartfelt ending. But hey, those are just my thoughts, but you already know, I wanna know what yours are. Are you gonna watch Dog? Have you already seen it? Let me know in the comment section below, and don't forget to catch these videos to my left, and I'll catch you guys next time, where we get to talk about it. Peace.